Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at an interesting product. This is a $32 corn stripper. It's kind of unusual looking and reviews are kind of mixed online. So let's see how it works in today's video, starting with the unboxing. Right, here's the RSVP International Corn Stripper. I paid $31.95 for this. It currently has a 3.9 star rating on Amazon. Must be instructions are on the side of the box here. All right, so this is, this is all it is. The claims on this are that it's a device that strips corn and keeps the kernels inside the chamber, creating a mess-free environment. They say it's easy to clean and dishwasher safe. On Amazon, those who liked it, people said that it's easier than using a knife and it cuts close to the cob. Those who didn't like it, some people said it's inconsistent, doesn't work on thin ears, some people said it does not hold up over time. Uh, the instructions here on the side of the box say to insert the corn into the cylinder. It'll go into those prongs, which hopefully hold it in place. You add the top, then you add the blade, and hopefully you strip your corn. That's the idea at least. Let's start off with some fresh corn and see how that does. All right, here's a ear of fresh corn. Let's try it out. All right, I'm pressing the corn onto that blade down there and the prongs are hopefully holding the place. The outer sleeve, which will supposedly hold the corn in place, which it seems like it's gonna do. I think we're locked and loaded and ready to go. They say all you have to do is use a downward twisting motion. You should be good to go. Let's try it out. Well, the corn's kind of moving. It's not so easy. I see kernels falling down, but I'm using a lot of strength here. Ugh. Well, this is falling off. There's chaos in here already. Twisting this part here. It seems, oh, it seems like it's going pretty well. We are twisting. We have kernels, let's, let's pour these out. Oh, not, not bad really, pretty, pretty good in fact. Here is the, uh, the cob itself. That's, that's pretty well stripped, look at that. There's nothing left. All right, so that was the first one, kind of a test. Let's do a couple more and then move on to the cook corn and see how that goes. All right, for the first round, I forgot to use the plunger, so I'm gonna use that in the second round and moving forward. All right, now that I'm used to it here, let's see what we got. First up, inserting the corn into the chamber, pressing it down, attaching the outer sleeve to hopefully keep the corn in place. Now we're gonna be twisting the blade itself. It takes a couple of hard twists to get started and then once you get going, it's pretty quick. All right, there we go. Lifting the blade. Now correctly using the plunger here. Much easier. So far, I think it actually works. I'm gonna try one more ear of raw corn and then move on to the cooked. I'm getting the hang of this one now. All right, here we go. Now this seems crooked and it doesn't seem like it's lining up properly. I gotta make sure I get that right. I think, I think we got it right now. Let's uh, twist the blade and see what happens. Well, the corn is actually turning inside. Oh, I just brute forced it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it went quick. Once I brute forced it, it went really fast. Oh, the top came off. The top came off. Got some misshapen uh, cob on the bottom here. Plunger time. I feel like I'm getting faster at this every time I do it. All right, there we go. Pretty quick, actually. Here are my three cobs. Look how, th there's a little bit on the ends of each one, but look how good they are otherwise. They are stripped clean. So I did a pretty good job with them, actually. All right, so I think it's time to move on to some cooked corn and see how that goes. All right, so I've cleaned it off now. It cleaned up pretty nicely. I feel like I kind of got the hang of this now. I've used it a few times. So let's try it for some cooked corn and see how it goes. Inserting the corn into the cylinder. Kind of pressing a little bit onto that blade there. Inserting the outer sleeve. You can see that it's, it's still kind of warm. It's steaming up inside there. So let's insert the stainless steel blade. Line up as best we can on the cob. Start twisting. There it goes. It seems like it takes a couple of hard twists before it kind of catches. It's going, but this is, this is definitely taking a little bit of effort. All right, we are through. Let's see what we got. The end of the cob is a little bit ragged looking. Once again, nicely stripped. Well, I got a big old chunk of cob that was stuck in there. That would not be fun to bite into, but not bad so far. Let's keep going. There is a little bit of play in there, so you have to kind of make sure this blade is lined up right in the center. I think that's gonna make it easier or more difficult to cut through there. I'm actually pushing from both directions. I'm pushing this way. Instead of just downward, I'm pushing on both sides. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. It's a little bit more work than I, than I anticipated based on the ratings. All the ratings weren't that great. No more cob chunks this time, but so far we're looking, we're looking pretty good. It's getting a little bit nasty inside there. Let me see if I can get that out of there. 
We had more cob chunks milling around the bottom there, but I got those out. Got one more. This should be my best one since I've already done five already. Inserting the corn. Pressing down onto the holding prongs. Sometimes I've noticed that even though sometimes I press it on those prongs, it, does, it doesn't always stay in place. I line up the blade with the cob. This should be the best one of the bunch. Let's see. Even though I made sure to put it on the prongs on the bottom, it's still turning. If I just turn it like this, it just spins in place. So I definitely have to push downward. Oh, there it goes. Well, that maybe is the best one. I'm still using a lot of force. Oh, we got a lot of cob hanging out there. Dumping the corn. And the final result looks pretty good. You know, pretty good actually. Looking at the final cobs, these were the uncooked cobs, very nicely stripped. Cooked cobs, nicely stripped also, but a couple of them seemed like they're kind of, something that was kind of going on the end there. So not, not perfect, but pretty close. And on one of them, we got a little bit of a cob chunk in the bottom, but overall stripped pretty well. And once again, these are the cooked kernels and they look pretty well. So in the end, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It, it does work, but it's a little bit more difficult to use than I thought it was going to be. It takes more force. Sometimes you don't get it lined up right. The reviews are kind of mixed online and I can see why. I, I think also the size of your corn has something to do with it. I have kind of medium sized corn. Maybe larger corn works better than this. But that's all I've got. If you've used a corn stripper like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.